Hello everyone and welcome to a fairly late episode of RimWorld and of course back to Stygian Sanctuary we return. Now I do apologise for the lateness of this video, today was voting day in Britain and so uh, quite a large chunk of my day was taken up with doing that but here we are, it is fairly late at night and uh, we've got some fairly good news in the colony but first and foremost what happened in the last episode? Well uh, Cassandra Classic decided to give us a little bit of, uh, a, little bit of a respite a small respite and although we didn't get much done in the grand scheme of things within the colony I feel that we actually did manage to make a fair old chunk of progress in terms of people's mental states though that being said Katie ah, Katie is still binging on Ambrosia you know what I, I really feel that maybe I should deal with that um, how about we quickly make a little structure uh, or we could just stick the Ambrosia back there just for the just for the time that Katie is 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 binging on it, I I yeah you know what we're gonna do that. Uh, let's get that chopped down as well. Uh, Dark Avac, you are currently gonna go and drop that off on the solar panel. That is good. Now the uh, good news I was going to uh, mention is Yoko, specifically her tail. Now you are no doubt aware that I was quite disappointed when I found that you could not install a side the tail, uh, side the blade as a tail as I had been advised. However, the mod has been up updated, and you know what? Now we can. What's more, we can also install power claws as paws, which is bloody awesome, if you ask me. We can have Wolverine Wargs. This is going to be amazing. But uh, we're going to get that Scyther Blade installed. In fact, let's have a quick look at what your damage is. 4.17. So we've got the uh, basis of comparison now for how much a Scyther Tail instead of a, a, a sorry Scyther Blade instead of a Tail will uh, change Yoko's raw damage output. Now, Dark Havoc, we do need to get this done as quickly as we can because uh, KD is just going to OD on all of that. Uh, let Yoko rest for the time being. Could you please prioritize working on the walls instead? Uh, prioritize working on that one. I do need to get this sorted pretty quickly. There we go. Continue working on them. There we are. All of them. There we go. Now, I want a... Well, first and foremost, could you hold that? Right there. That's all I want you to do because I'm going to actually need that close by. I want to stockpile room. Uh, uh, area. Uh, I'm going to make this clear all. The only thing I want in here is drugs. Uh, actually, wood. Ambrosia is a drug. Though it isn't manufactured, interestingly enough. Uh, so I'm not sure that should really be stored in there. Uh, next up, I want to take that out of here. Now, Dark Avac, I want you to haul the Ambrosia. Oh, not consume it. Haul it. Damn it. There we go. Haul. Thank you. And finally, I would like you to build a wall. Right about there. Get on that straight away. Um, work on wooden wall. Oh, dear me. A bug hive has emerged. Well, drat. Uh, okay. That's actually not too bad. We've got we've got the choke point. That is the important thing. But that is, that is actually quite bad. Okay, well, at the very least, the ambrosia is safe. Um, it will eventually spoil, but currently the temperature outside is bleeding through the walls more than enough that uh, that's never going to be an issue. Right, uh, secondly, I notice, just since I'm here, let's get that out of there, shall we? To move that corpse, that, that corpse out of there, I want to allow rotten, I want to reduce this to about 90, uh, 0 to 99 hit points, and I want corpses. Uh, I do not want mechanoid corpses. At uh, this stage, I would like that to be made a critical priority. And down here, I want to take animal corpses out. Dark Havoc, could you please haul it for me? Now, there we go. Just get that out of there. There we are. Right, okay. That's all being sorted. I will now allow uh, animal corpses to be in there. Not mechanoid ones, though. And not rotten, either. Okay, we are now in a position where maybe... Oh, this is going to be a pain. Gonna need Dark Havoc down here. I'm gonna need Wilson stood beside. I'm gonna need Valerie stood beside. Um, I'm gonna need. Yeah, let's get everyone there. Go, 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 go. Now, what I actually. No, no, what we want is. Oh, sorry, there. Valerie there. Wilson right here. And Dark Havoc to pull back by one. Now, what will happen. Is the enemies are going to rush us at the moment. Oh, it's, it's terrible. We can barely see things because of all of the uh, marks there. But only one creature should be able to engage Dark Avak at a time. They shouldn't be able to walk past Dark Avak. 
And Dark Abak shouldn't, I hope, be able to be hurt by friendly fire. That is a distinct possibility, however. We'll keep a close eye on this. Now, hopefully you guys can uh, do quite a lot of damage to them. Now, Dark Abak's actually really, really good at dodging. As we can see there, they're just having a friendly little chat. It's like, oh yeah, we don't really need to worry too much. I mean, Dark Abak's in, in the front. Now, the, the spider, that definitely can put the hurt on Dark Abak. So we need to make sure that that dies quickly. Please, please don't shoot Dark Abak. Lots of shots on it. That that shot that bite on the leg. Wow, that's almost half of his uh, of the efficiency of his bionic leg has been taken out by a a crack in the claw. The mega spider though is very nearly dead. Come on, there we go. Well done, Dark Abak. Get in there. Start melee attacking everything. The rest of you get back to your other jobs. Uh, actually, Dark Abak, could you finish off all of these? So oh, I love that little that little. Uh, Effect that swing stab brilliant, but uh, Dark Havoc, how much are you bleeding? You're in no immediate danger, you've only got two small cuts on your torso a cut from a spellopede and a mega spider. Uh, could you then deal with this? Marvelous, these are not forbidden, they are actually a high priority thing as well. That actually went down really well, really well. My goodness, but I do want you to rest up, normal, poor. Um, Actually, as it happens, that's not going to be the case anymore. Uh, we'll take the normal bed out. Just pop it. Uh, uninstall this for now. Uh, we're going to install your bed in the hospital because yours is the one of the best beds for healing. So can you please work on that for me? There we go. And then get this one reinstalled there. This is really important. Then you can rest there. So work on the bed. There we are. And boom. And this bed can be reinstalled. I mean, I'm not going to give you a poor bed in exchange. That would just be silly because that would affect your mood. But uh, there we go. All is done. Go and rest until healed. This is now your bed again. There we are. Now then, the change to work priorities that I've given. Um, Rhapsody and Dark Abbott are primary doctors. Everyone has got one job that they have also now got it as a primary um Quality. There are going to be some exceptions, though. Um, for example, Rhapsody and Dark Avak. If I gave them any other primaries back here, like anyone who has being a patient on a two cannot have another primary elsewhere, because they might do that job instead of going and receiving life-saving treatment. The only exception are my doctors who. I feel should be selfless enough to treat someone else over them. Perhaps the other doctor. So, you know, it, it, it's important for them to do it, but everyone else will do patients first. So there's a bunch of really important tasks that will generally get done first. Bed rest, if it's non-life threatening, I don't worry too much about it. Um, but generally, someone always has another primary job. And that's going to be something that we're going to be playing around with and see if that uh, works for us. Could you please tend to Dark Avak and then also feed him? That would be... Uh, very much appreciated. Could you also shut down these turrets? I could have moved the turrets over there, but there was really no reason to. Uh, some food. There we go. Dark Abbot's going to get the proper types of noms as well. Marvellous. We have run out of power, though, and that does suck a little bit. Oh, well. Uh, the bugs, however... <laughs> that's just this is priority haul all of the bugs. There we go. Wonk. Get them all hauled. Right, and they're being butchered. Glorious. Now, the meat is not exactly the best stuff. Um, but can be used for making kibble. And, yeah, I, I'm going to say... Let's just see the details. Are we using raw food, meat? Is it bug meat and human meat? Yeah, we are. Then... I'm going to say we're going to increase the amount that, that I would like you to make. Go ahead and just really fill up that area. No, not that many times. That is silly. Don't be dumb. No, that is also silly. Don't be dumb. There, that's a bit better. Um, in fact, uh, yeah, that's, that's just incredibly silly. Let's go to a thousand. Should be good. Uh, as for this, let's... No, the people have given me tips on how I can possibly change this. I've been wrestling with this. I've been trying to get it to some sort of stable position, but it just does not want to. I will accept any kind of roundish... There, 415. That's fine. I'll accept you. 
Oh my lord. Right, please turn the insect meat into kibble as soon as we are able to. We can't right now because we simply don't have any hay to use for it, but uh, that should change in the future. How are you doing, Dark Abac? You're bloody cold. Uh, that's understandable. Um, raccoon, self-tamed. Sorry, Raccoon, but you are going to be dead very soon. Uh, could you please go to the home group so I can have you slaughtered? There we are. And power is slowly coming back, kind of all over the place. Mostly from the generator there. Uh, could you feel the the wood generator? That would be glorious. Uh, we've got loads of components. We're actually doing fairly well for that. Okay. I'm going to leave things there for the moment. And we're going to come back when we've got something more to report. Hooray! Abag just woke up and um, worked on Yoko's operation. Oh, this is fantastic. Cyberblade has been installed. Okay. Uh, ooh, pirate merchant from Altorium Equal Confederation is here. Okay, very well. Um, right, let's have a quick look at you. You've got 4.27 DPS. Now, I can only assume that that is actually nerfed because you're unconscious, but even even if not, it is still technically an upgrade, though quite a, a lot smaller of one than I had uh, anticipated. Uh, okay, so, oh, there we go. Dark Abac has finished off the raccoon. Thank you, Dark Abac. Uh, we've got still loads of building work to do, unfortunately, but uh, since we've got a merchant here, and it's quite a large merchant, too, as well. Ooh. Boom rats. Now, boom rats would actually be worth me collecting because we can milk them for the chemicals that they produce in those large cysts on their back, which we can then use to make neutramine, which would allow us to produce our own um, our own medicine. Oh, Yoko's up and about, I think. Actually, are you? Uh, you're no longer unconscious. Oh, that is a big upgrade. Up to 5.6 DPS because of the uh, the scyther blade on your tail. That is marvellous. We are also turning insect jelly into fine meals. Um, generally speaking, you probably shouldn't be doing that. Uh, I would rather you didn't, if I'm honest. Because that is like amazing stuff that I don't think... Well, actually, maybe insect jelly is okay in meals and people will still get the uh, positive mood effect of it. I, I will hope. I, I will live in hope. What's the temperature outside? It's pretty, pretty cold, actually. A local lynx has gone mad and will attack everyone it sees. Oh, well, that's not, pretty, not particularly good. Um, all right. Well, are you going to come over here? Oh, dark, you're going to see Dark Alec first. Well, that might actually be funny. Uh, sure. Though, you know what? We'll, we're going to use this opportunity as an as a opportunity for people to practice their shooting. So let's get everyone down here who can shoot. Get into position. The lynx will be here fairly soon, I imagine. Yeah, and then we'll go and we'll uh, trade. I may try to get a breeding pair of uh, of boom rats if we can. Okay, it's not going down. So get in there, Dark Havoc. Valerie, pull back. Wilson, pull back. Horror Story, pull back. There we go. That's fine. You guys can go and do. Well, actually, you can shoot at it if you want to. Dark Havoc probably isn't gonna get hurt by any bullets because of the shield. That's such a good mod. Right, okay, there we go. Carry on. Uh, right, who is our best trader? That would be Wilson, I would say, with a 13 social skill. So, Wilson, let's go and have a quick chat, shall we? Uh, there we go. Hello. Male, female, what is their life expectancy? 14, so yeah, that would actually be okay. I'll take two. Uh, I'm not going to sell you. Sell you Yoko? You're having a laugh. Uh, I could sell you Lynn, but I, I won't. Um, anything else? I'd love to sell you the Luciferian we have, but I cannot. Um, nothing else you particularly want to take off me. You won't buy the Luciferian I have, which is a crying shame. Perhaps it's because I can't access it. It's not available for sale. Um, no, I'm okay with what we've got there, actually. We'll make that trade. We don't really get much out of it, but, we, well, we do. We get two boom rats, but, uh, alright, let's, at this point, it's now important for us to get this up and running so we can actually keep this place reasonably warm. Uh, what kind of temperature can you, can you tolerate? You can tolerate a, a temperature of minus 30? Maybe I don't need to put a heater in there then. Uh, still, I would like to get it built. 
Uh, right. Well, given that, then, we do need to pop down the animal bears. But let's uh, just pop down a couple at a time. We'll just pop, pop in four for now. Animals, you are now assigned to animal area one. Uh, animal can be assigned a master who it will follow and defend. Uh, the animal can be released to attack. I No, I don't. I'd rather not. The breeding pair is not going to be doing that. Oh, please tell me you can eat kibble. That's kind of important. Let me see. Vegetables, raw meat, corpses, seeds, live plants, meals, processed foods, liquor, and kibble. Very well. Good enough for me. You guys can get down there, and that is now your home. Enjoy. There we go. Dark Havoc is on, on the wander, on the prowl. He has treated his legs. That's good. Uh, you've got a bit of... Um, steel around there, that's good as well. Not too bad. We should hopefully get that up and running reasonably soon. Because once uh, we've got the steel in there, we should be able to just get the last little bits of components. We haven't got that many over here. Um, but we, we aren't going to need too much. Oh, really? Did you put it all in there? No, you didn't. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we should be getting the uh, solar panels up reasonably soon. But I'm going to drop a cat here and get a little bit of time pass and hopefully get some more of these projects a little bit closer to completion. I really would like to finish the freezer before we uh, wrap up this episode. We have got visitors! And for those who've been asking, yes, I have finally installed or rather re-enabled hospitality. Though the problem here is we've not really got anywhere for them to stay. These, well, I, I guess we could put them up in those rooms, but they're bloody cold. Uh, you know what? Let's instead, first and foremost, set up these rooms. It's not going to be ideal. How many visitors were there? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it's going to be rough. But at least in here, they're not going to be cold all the time. Uh, so I could pop down some sleeping spots. It's three, four, five, six. Uh, it's kind of rubbish, but hopefully it'll be all right. Um, I could, I guess, get these ones set up. I'll, I'll suppose what I could do is make sure that these are set up to have a livable temperature first, and then I'll move two of the uh, the little beds out of there. Hello, hello, come along. Okay, so I'm actually fairly happy to start getting visitors again. That should be quite a nice um, little enhancement for the colony. We're generally moving things around. I have designated an area that is going to be set up as our butchering, uh, butchery and cooking area. Now... My plan here is to actually use the heat being vented by the um, freezer. I'll probably have a toggleable vent because all vents are now toggleable thanks to Alpha 17. So I'll probably have that closed most of the time unless it becomes very important to vent the heat out of this little corridor. But otherwise, this will just push heat down into this little room and then we'll feed it into the rest of the corridor. It should be okay and because there'll be a double wall between it and the cavity wall around our freezer, the heat won't be bleeding back or at least it won't be bleeding back very much. Now, unfortunately, our um, colonists, uh, sorry, our visitors won't really have much to buy. Uh, that is a bit of a shame. We are starting to milk the um, neutral glycerin out of the boom rat. Now, the thing is, I, I don't know, I, I can't imagine that it, it's, it's milking them so much as it's these huge chemical-filled cysts on their back and using a syringe to extract the stuff. Not the most nice mental image, I know, but, you know, that's what it is. Uh, Dog out again, a bunch of construction done there. I think I'm going to let you then just get to work on actually building up the torches that I so desperately need around this place. I'm a little bit frustrated that so, so few of the torches are done. I need someone who can act as our primary, um, uh, primary constructor, really. I am going to break this down, though, and replace that with a little door. And that way, if people want to enjoy Ambrosia, they can. If someone starts uh, gorging on it, then I can just replace that door with a wall. And that should be fine. Ooh, what's happening here? Ooh, is someone hurt? Let's have a quick look. Have you got any any issues? Is, is everyone okay? Uh, you. Ah, you got uh, stab scars. We can't help those, but we can treat your asthma, I suppose. Fair enough. There you go. Uh, you, free treatment. No charge. Uh, right. Uh, see, even Dark Avak understands you shouldn't charge people to keep them to keep them well. Damn it. That's, that's just barbarous. 
Ah, uh, there we go. You've actually made really short work of this. Uh, Valerie's getting really good at mining. I'm very, very thankful for her her skill with it. Oh, no! Valerie's gone sick of the plague. Wilson's sick of the plague. Rhapsody's gone the plague. Katie's gone the plague. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That is super bad! Okay, well... Fortunately, that was my my good thing for it. But like, let's go and see KD. KD, what kind of bed you got? You got a poor bed. Valerie, what kind of bed you got? You got a shoddy bed. That is a normal bed. Wilson, that is a shoddy bed. That is a normal bed. I am sorry, but you're not gonna have this bed. <laughs> this is no longer a guest bed. That is a a bed for the sick. Right. So, um, KD, let's get you up there. Go rest until healed. Who's next? We've got Valerie. Valerie, rest until healed. Who's next? Wilson. Wilson, rest until healed. And finally, well, Rhapsody should probably have taken that bed, actually. Um, Sushadi, that is normal. We should bring all of these beds together. Um, okay, yes, that bed is going to be reinstalled over here. And it's going to be a hospital bed. That's it. It's a poor bed. This is the problem. I I need I need the sick to be re realistically speaking in the same place. Okay, so uninstall this, uninstall it. I'm really sorry, guys, but this takes massive priority. Go, 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 go quickly. There we are. Go down here quickly. Prioritize uninstalling this bed. There we go. Right, this one needs to be reinstalled up here. And that one needs to be reinstalled down here. It does not matter to me if that one gets moved down here quickly or not. Look on the bed. Go, go, go. This is so bad. Uh, right. Valerie, go rest. Uh, so, sorry, Valerie's already there. Uh, KD, go rest. I should have said. Um, right, Dark Avac, I need this bed moved over. Go, go. Once everyone's actually got a bed, I will treat them all. I really should be treating them all as a, as a high priority, frankly, but um, I'm a derp. Uh, there's, there's no two ways about it. That's, that's, the, that's the reason. Right. Rhapsody, go rest until healed. Now, Dark Avoc, what are you doing? No, you're not. You are actually treating people. Now, we've got the meds. We've got good meds, too. Not many of them, but we've got a few. Next, you're treating Rhapsody. I want those good meds used on Rhapsody now. There we go. Because Rhapsody is the other doctor, it is a priority. Um, Valerie, we're going to have enough to give everyone one dose of good meds to start them off. And <laughs> I feel bad for our visitors. They're like, oh yeah, what a, what a charming, quaint little colleague. Oh, oh, this is this is the hospital. Fine. Ah, right, okay. No, no one's ill, I take it. Oh, oh, they've got the plague. Ah, right. We, we, we're going to be staying... Oh. Yeah, okay, so this is this is the room. Oh hmm. How uh how how marvelous. We're staying in a plague colony. Just what I always wanted. I I feel bad for them. I if they catch the <laughs> thing is they could catch the plague. I don't know if it's communicative. Um I assume that it's not just a random chance that it, it triggers and then they get sick. But rather they, they, they catch the plague at some point due to something and then, oh, Valerie, will you please stay in bed? Uh, and then th they, it incubates for a little while. But are they contagious during that period of time? What if all of these people are catching the plague? What if they're going to go back to their colony with the plague? And all of a sudden, all of them are going to die of the plague. We're, we're spreading disease around this world. Oh, my Lord. And it's minor, though. You've already got 46% immunity. That is glorious. Um, you're, you're actually matching it. As long as Dark Ava keeps up with the treatments, there is no reason whatsoever that we're not going to be able to uh, manage all this. That's the only thing that Dark Ava needs to do, is just keep on the treatments. Uh, he's going to grab sleep whenever he can during the anything moments. Uh, is anyone else in the new treatment? I don't think so, no. Oh well, this is going to be my life for the next little while. Status update! They enjoyed this day. They're amazed by our hospitality. They have no idea what we've just unleashed on their clan. Oh, you poor ignorant fools. I am terribly, terribly sorry about what we've done to you. Ah, uh, bless. Uh, but there we go. You know, they're reasonably happy with things. And uh, yeah, so okay, okay, I guess that's a good thing. Um, as far as the health goes, going pretty good. Their immunity is climbing super, super fast. 
we are not going to have a problem. Not even slightly. Um, let's have a look at you. Dark Alex should be on his way to treat you shortly. Relaxing socially. Oh, everyone does need a little bit of uh, joy time. Honestly, how bad is Rhapsody? 56 versus 75. That's fine. You can, you can wait. Um, 70 versus 50. Uh, and I believe Dark Havoc is off to have some noms. Look, I can't force our doctor to constantly, constantly do that. He's got it the top priority. He will take care of it in his own time. But right now, you know, if, if we push Dark Havoc to breaking point, he might just accidentally let one of them die and then eat them. Because, you know, eating plague people does... It's, it's a test, really. It's a test of courage. He's just putting his, his bionic body through its paces, working out what he needs to improve. Whatever doesn't kill him makes him stronger. Or fatter. Hooray, a boom rat is pregnant. Happy days. We're going to grow our boom rat population soon. We're going to be able to make our own meds, our proper meds. It's going to be generally much better. Oh, Valerie, are you are you good? Oh, fantastic. They're fine. Where's KD? KD, are you also good? Yes. Good times. You are not yet, but you almost are. Uh, uh, Dark Havoc, you probably should wake up and deal with that. Frankly, but okay. I'll just leave you to doing your own thing. Um, yeah, the colony is in a bit of a mess, but hopefully we'll be able to get that all sorted. There we go. Rhapsody's woken up. She's going to go and get some norms. Then maybe eventually Wilson will get some treatment. Notice that Wilson has been left last. Yeah, I, I, I can't say that I blame the colonists for that. It's like, well, you know, if he dies, he dies. That'll be quite a shame, but, you know, we wouldn't actually lose that much because Wilson does no job work. Ah, uh, good old reliable Wilson. Wilson, Wilson the ever slothful. Wilson actually isn't slothful, he just does no jobs. Ah, oh, Wilson. Okay, Dark Havoc just made human leather overalls. Actually, a fairly high quality as well. So it's time to see how this is going to affect his mind. Currently, this will scare them. All will know my power. But what will it be when he wears three human leather items? Let's find out. Come on, there we go. So, uh, oh, actually, are you still wearing other things? Um, you are. There we go, it's updated. The faces on my clothes aren't smiling. But they make me happy. <laughs> Dark Havoc, that is so sinister. My lord. Ah, uh, oh, well, what are you making now? H more human leather over. I'm not so sure you should be making those. Actually, uh, why are you making human leather overalls specifically? I am fairly certain you shouldn't be. Let's just make sure that, yeah, let, let's, let's, let's stop with that one. Cancel. Yeah. There we go. It's funny for you to have them, but no. Um, I should probably actually get you your break. <laughs> See, I've made I've made human leather overalls now, but I don't think we need human leather overalls. We should probably not have that. Dark Avak probably should have other things, though. I guess he can always switch out. That is a uh, part of why we we have all of this going on. We're currently working on the um, cooking area. Now, what we're going to need in here is a programmable vent. I'll place that down right now and also drop down a couple of these. Rhapsody failed with construction of the block wall. That's fine. Major break risk. Who be that? Ra really? Rhapsody? What's the matter? What's up, Rhapsody? Let's have a look at you. Uncomfortable in darkness, slept on the ground. Prosophile lacks bionic body parts, slept in the cold. Feeling bad, slept outside. Ugly environment, disturbed sleep. Oh, yes. That's right. I am bad. My bad. Sorry. Let's get that set up. In fact, let's move this bed. Uh, reinstall that. Let's let's get a three-bed hospital for now. Uh, there you go. Go and do that stuff. There we are. Hopefully, uh, someone will get on that straight away. Oh, Rhapsody, actually. Sorry about that, little Rhapsody. My bad. Uh, right, okay, so we've got the uh, kitchen area ready. Let's go ahead and place down some checkered tiles. Uh, yeah, I quite like that. We'll have some... Marble tiles on the entry point. Uh, sure, we'll have marble tiles around the perimeter, actually. But that does necessitate that we get marble tiles made right now. Not really possible, because we've filled this area up with junk. Scallywags. Okay, well, this place should not be holding pretty much any of this stuff. So, uh, wood needs to go. Yeah, you know what? None of that should be in here, so... More resources, no. Just chunks, and of those, I do not want steel slag. So that can all be moved away, hopefully. Uh, let's, let's set this one up so it can accept 
steel slag chunks. There we go. That should sort a few things out. Uh, these shouldn't be deteriorating. Honestly, with such a large area, perhaps I should drop some more resources over here instead. So, yeah, okay. We'll just get all of that stuff moving over there. Won't have wood, though. There's really no point in the wood being there. All right, so let's go find ourselves some... Oh, there we are. We've got some... Uh, um, chunks there that need to be moved, and there as well. And, oh, well... Ooh! Sass from Altio, uh, Altioium Equal Confederation was wandering nearby and noticed you could use some help. She'd like to join your colony for a while. She's a mathematician and her traits are pretty, jogger, and chemical interest. Uh, Sass has a relationship with the colonists. She's Katie's mother-in-law. Uh, oh, okay. Welcome to the colony, Sass. Let's just hope that your name is an indicative of what, what we're going to be, uh, be able to expect. You're incapable of dumb labor. That is a shame, but you can actually fight. That is good. You're a jogger, so you'll move a little bit faster. You've actually got some pretty good skills, Sass. I am happy with this. You get the room over here. There you go, Sass. This is now your room. There we are. Perfect. Um, Rhapsody. Let's make sure that this one's yours. There we are. Bump. Okay, fantastic. Still haven't got a name, uh, got uh, Lynn um, brought over just yet, but we're going to need a name for Sass, it seems. Uh, breakdown generator. That is a shame. We should be able to get that up and running fairly quickly. Right, I'm going to go ahead and look through Sassy's uh, skills and get her properly set up, and I'll bring you back, hopefully, by the time that we're looking about ready to finish off the cook's room. Okay, it seems that we have an escape pod crash landing. Uh, we've got Ezra. Uh, she has a pretty high social skills. Not capable of dumb labor. She's ascetic and psychically dull. And ascetic would be pretty good. Intellectual crafting. Uh, she's got a passion for both artistic and crafting. And social. And a burning passion for melee. That is actually pretty good. But you can still shoot. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm down with trying to uh, capture you. Uh, though we are going to need a new... Um, prison cell down about here. Make sure that's nice and warm. We'll pop down three um, torches. It should keep the place particularly good. All right, Dark Avak, I know you're not going to like this, but you, you need to be woken up. Now, quite a few things have happened uh, since you last uh, saw the uh, the base. I've gone ahead and I've completely retiled the Boomalo barn because they're Boomaloops. And it doesn't pay to have a barn housing you know creatures who tend to explode when nervous nervous about things like being dead um paved with or rather floored with wood which can burn yeah that that occurred to me suddenly and i was like oh yeah we should probably work on that so that's actually taken quite a lot of work to do and up here we haven't really gone to too much closer to getting the freezer section done though the cavity section has all been dug out and we're actually making a fair bit of progress in uh, can, uh, closing off all of this. We've kind of got a vent that's closed. This is just a vanilla vent, which can now be toggled between open and closed. We'll have the cooler around here, the vent there, and then this corridor will just fill up with heat. This is a programmable vent, so it's going to try to keep the heat in this room at a certain level, uh, but won't allow too much more heat than that through. So hopefully this will actually do quite well, and then this vent then will just vent the heat into this corridor section down here. I may use that as some sort of heating system for a larger area around here, perhaps even some sort of inn, perhaps. Uh, as for everything down here, good. That can be set for Prisoner, Dark Abak. I really would like it if you could work on those. And Rhapsody, could you please capture... Oh, sorry, uh, anyone, really. Could you capture Ezra? Now, normally, I would go for just rescue them. But I've decided I'd like to capture them this time. As you can see, we've got power a plenty and a few more turrets down here as well. And generally speaking, the, the place is doing reasonably well. Uh, the torches in here is because we had a solar flare. And for a moment, the temperature was actually pretty bad in here. So I dropped down a bunch of torches just to pull the temperature up just high enough that the plants wouldn't die in there. We're on the 5th of September. Oh, psychic ship. Really? Ah, <laughs> oh, Cassandra hates me. 
but we're, we're on the fifth day of spring, so the temperature is st starting to improve a little bit. But it's got a long way to go. How, how are you doing there? Uh, you're going to keep getting cold, unfortunately. Uh, Doc Ava, could you help working on all of this? It would be a massive help. And, uh, yeah, we've got Huskies. Doc Ava has, has uh, expanded his his uh, his pet a little bit. If we have a look down here, just Huskies joined the colony. Zlatter, again. Ranton and Ina. And I have already trained them overhauling, so they've been actually helping out a remarkable amount, to be perfectly fair. Because they're, they're restricted to the home zone, but they're doing a lot of good work. Now, if we can just get these built up, then uh, Ezra is not likely to uh, suffer too badly due to temperature. There we go. Let's get that last little bit there. Okay, Ezra, hopefully we can actually recruit you. It's going to be fairly easy, so uh, we're going to set you to chat and recruit. Uh, we've still got Lynn. Still haven't got Lynn uh, to like us. I mean, well, that's not entirely true. She really does like some of us. Um, Rhapsody and Wilson, she's really, really happy with them. And, I mean, as far as Rhapsody goes, Rhapsody even likes Lynn. She considers Lynn a friend. Whereas uh, Lynn, let me just have a quick look. Um, yeah, it's just friend, even at 100. Um, Wilson, likewise. Even Sass is considered a friend, though only really Sass and, and Rhapsody like Lynn back um, to some degree. Lynn is mostly an acquaintance to Sass, but that's fine. Uh, right, so how on earth are we going to deal with you? Well, as it happens, we should be able to just shoot you to death. Uh, I think that would be the smartest way of doing this. Let's uh, get all of these reinstalled around here. Bump, 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 bump. Uh, it's gonna be, well, it's gonna be a lot of death probably, but we'll hopefully not struggle too terribly badly. Uh, currently hauling down quite a lot of stone still because oh my lord, we're gonna need so much brick to get all of this place done. Uh, I'm leaving a little door there though so that I could access this area if I want to, and that's why I've got a vent in this wall rather than just uh, closing it off completely. It's because. If I do want to get in, it's probably going to be very, very hot. So I might not necessarily want to just walk in there or open the door first. I probably just want to vent a load of heat and then walk in. Uh, you know, rather than having anyone's face melt off or, or anything crazy like that. Um, I would super prefer if instead of working on that, you set up the turrets. Uh, can you work on that one? Yeah, we may as well leave them on because we, we're going to be uh, setting all of this up. Fairly soon. A local fox has gone mad. Well, isn't that kind of annoying? Uh, go ahead and, and kill that for me, please, Dark Avac. There we go. Wilson, could you will not do construction because you are a pain in the bum. Wilson, the absolutely worthless. Oh, that isn't quite true. You're not you're quite handy with a gun, but still, Wilson, you do you do make things hard for me. Right, so Sass, you've currently got a machine gun. That's nice. Wilson, actually, will you grab these grenades? Because I think that will be very useful for me. Um, now, how do we want to position people? I'm going to say Valerie over there. Sass over here. Horror story. Actually, let's have them inside the rooms first. Something like that. Dark Avac, let's get you. I'm going to have you over here, actually. Oh, wait. Have you, have you killed the... Wait, oh, you have. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, could you, I get you to stand inside there? Now, um, in addition to this, I'm going to want KD back here. I'm going to want Rhapsody in there. And I think that should be good enough. I'm going to set up a very temporary animal area. Uh, animal area 2. Let's get you guys in Animal Area 2, because I would really prefer you not to be in Animal Area 1. I'd actually set up Animal Area 2 ready to cull a bunch of boomlops, because we the, one of them had quite a few um, kits. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll go with we'll go with the... Uh, sorry, boom rats. Um, but, and as you can imagine, we can't just slaughter boom rats. They'll explode. So I was going to get them all into a very small little area and then grenade them. I know, I know it's not it's not a very nice thing to do, 
but it may have been necessary, you see. Uh, but we should be fine. Yoko, I would prefer you and the Huskies not be anywhere where you can get hurt here. Thank you. All right. Uh, like Wilson over there. Okay, we are now ready. Let us begin the attack. Fire. Right. Fire on this. Yes. All right. Let them pick their targets. Okay, they've picked their targets. Move out. Go, go, go. And start opening fire. Go, stick your faces out. Right, I want this grenade about there. Yes. And Valerie's already targeting the right one. Like you two to target him. Like you two to target him. We've got no uh, rocket launchers, so we should be okay by and large. Just make sure there we go. Great. Wilson, you can now rush up. Dark Avac. Go for a melee attack. If you can. Let's try and take it down. I would like the sun grenade about there if you can. Go, fire! That is, that is a miss. That's fine, because it's still going to stun one of them. Uh, okay, next up, let's get you over on the other side. How much damage has Dark Havoc done here? Not enough, not even slightly enough. Uh, could you get that grenade down there, please? Come on. There we go, that might hit it. No, you suck. There, no, oh my lord, you really do suck. You'll eventually die. I, I I don't mean to alarm you, but they're eventually going to kill you if you keep sucking this bad. Right, Dark Avak, you need to be out there, because that... Oh, it's awake! Get out of there. Go. Uh, same for Wilson, actually. Run away. Let's get inside. There we go. Oh! Right, okay. That is not too bad. Let's uh, get all of the guns going on that one. Um... We should actually be okay. Uh, could you get out there? I'd really like you to prioritize repairing this turret. Where's Rhapsody? How badly are these turrets? Oh, actually, they're fairly good. Okay, that's fine. Let's get out there quickly, KD. Because that thing is going to hurt if it decides to attack you. Good. Let's get this repaired as fast as we can. KD is amazing. He's rushing out there in the middle of this fight. No, 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 no. As much as I said you were amazing, I don't need to just walk past a cider. Thank you. Right, Wilson, you might be able to take them down again now. It takes a little while, but they eventually become susceptible again. So launch the grenades. There we go. And pop. Perfect. Wonderful. They Their um, adaption to the... Grenades does not last for forever. Not even close. Uh, Dark Ava, can you maybe get in there and take out this? Okay, the side is down. Right, okay, go for this one then. Uh, Wilson, you're good for now. Step back inside. Right, I'm going to need... Let's try and take out the ship if you can. So that we can shoot at the centipede. If we can. How's your shield? Your shield is gone. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. We're good, we're good, we're good. Everyone shoot at the ship. Dark Avak, pull back. Just l let this happen. Are you actually all right? You are all right. My goodness. Well done, everyone. That was glorious. Absolutely glorious. Uh, go ahead. You're no longer drafted, though I want all of these shut down. If you would be so kind. You've ruined my gross on your scallywags. Not there was much I could do with it at the moment. But uh, still, you are scallywags. Right. Uh, is this dead? I think it's just incapacitated. So we're going to need to shut them all down. I don't think we actually killed a single one of them outright. Though we did manage to destroy almost all of their parts. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, sure, go ahead and uh, try and modify that scyther. And we are going to get these reinstalled. But that is going to be the end of the episode. My goodness, I have been playing the game for quite a long time today. Considering how little uh, I feel that I've accomplished. Yet, saying that, at the same time, we've actually been through a couple of uh, gnarly situations. And I'm fairly happy that we uh, that wasn't the end of the colony, frankly. Uh, let's see. Let's position this somewhere a bit close. Now... So annoying. I can barely see where I can put those things. Right. Also, animals, you are back on the home zone. There you go. You're all allowed to leave. I'm so sorry for having stuck you in there for so long. But it was really important. Come on now. You might have died if I hadn't. But that is going to be it from me. So, as ever, do remember to leave a like if you liked. Sub if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Oh, and do remember, 
We're going to need the name for Sass and possibly for Ezra as well. Take care, everyone.